Cuba's Fidel Castro arrives at New York's Idlewild Field, the first in a parade of heads of government that includes nearly every Iron Curtain nation and Russian ally, all on hand for the opening of the United Nations 15th General Assembly. Surrounded by a heavy security guard, Castro appears subdued. Unlike the three or four hour orations he delivers in Havana broadcasts, his arrival speech is only a few words. I really want to salute to the people of the United States. And uh, I don't want to do, my English is the same like the other time. Uh, about uh, the other things that I want to tell, I wish that you pray to the General Assembly of the United Nations. Thank you very much. The first red satellite chieftains to arrive in New York are Novotny of Czechoslovakia and Poland's Gomulka. They are not greeted by any United States representative, not being guests of this country. Novotny makes an arrival speech in his own tongue. Despite their status as high-ranking red leaders, both Novotny and Gomulka are almost ignored by the numerous pickets and demonstrators, many of them East European refugees who protested the arrival of Khrushchev and other leading reds on the SS Baltica. The Russian liner on which Mr. K sailed with the heads of five satellite states arrived on a dank and foggy morning. Heading up the East River to the deep water dock closest to UN headquarters, it was harassed by cruising parties of hecklers. One boat was hired by the Longshoremen's Union. On the shore, hundreds of demonstrators massed, despite heavy rains. On shabby Pier 73, carpets had been laid by Soviet emissaries for the occasion. The pier swarmed with newsmen and one of the most massive assemblies of police and security men ever gathered in New York. Khrushchev could barely be glimpsed through the throng of protectors. Mr. K's brazen visit to these shores on his own invitation promises to make a General Assembly session, already momentous on the Congo issue, into a potentially explosive or potentially historic international meeting. At least 16 new members are to be admitted, a score of heads of government will be present, a dramatic setting with global stakes at issue.